Good evening. My name is Reginald Chambers. This is Finance 652 with Dr. Chatterjee. I'm pleased to announce that I'm going to be talking about two magnificent companies that actually hold a large anchor in my heart because I worked in the industry for over 10 years. The company that I'm talking about is Temper Sealy and its competitor, Sleep Number. Many people are not aware of the importance of a good mattress and the benefits it can have on your daily routine. A positive daily routine, that is. Sleep studies are done on a day-to-day -day basis with people and they are diagnosed with different sleep symptoms. And these sleep symptoms, symptoms can be done uh, and caused by a lack of sleep. Sleep is essential to a good physical and mental health. Having a good mattress to sleep on can play an important factor in your life. Sleep is an asset to good health just as much as oxygen is as we breathe, <clears throat> the food that we eat, and the water that we drink. Studies show that the lack of sleep can cause fatigue, poor concentration and memory, mood disturbances, impaired judgment and reaction to time, and poor physical coordination. Long-term lack of sleep can also be associated with the increased risk of diabetes and obesity. Common sleep disorders include insomnia, snoring, sleep apnea, and narcolepsy. Comfortable running shoes is vital to one who is in a marathon, just as a good mattress is for a good night's sleep and a productive daily routine. A person is very picky about the right fit in order to run, walk, or work out in athletic shoes. And as I said, the same process is applied to a, a good and comfortable mattress. Although most people do not see this analogy in the same manner. Therefore, a good mattress is critical to a good night's sleep. Good support to the body will reduce tossing and turning, which can lead to a more productive day. I conducted a survey to many of my family members and peers asking if they could give me the name of their of five mattress brands and if they can tell me who manufactured their mattress. Close to 80% of the survey takers stated a Sealy Posturepedic, Tempurpedic, and Sleep Number. Close to 30% knew who manufactured their mattress. Sealy was the name mentioned by most of the uh, survey takers. Normally when a person thinks of a mattress, they think of a Sealy Posturepedic. The three mattress companies mentioned by close to 80% of the survey takers are well-trusted name brands. Technology has advanced with research and development. Increase in, increases in innovations within these sleep systems have much needed sleep studies and have assisted the companies in gaining heavy profits. In this report, I will be discussing Sealy, uh, excuse me, in this report, I will be discussing Temper Sealy, whose stock code is TPX, and its financial analysis in depth. And once again, the reason I have chosen Sealy is because I worked for mattress firm and was able to gain a wealth of knowledge in the mattress industry. There is a wide array of competitors that, that Temper Sealy must challenge on a daily basis. A few of these competitors are Sleep Number, which I will be discussing as well, Satava, Loom and Leaf, Dream Cloud, Zen Haven, Sleep Number will be the competitor once again that I'll be discussing on. Sealy Posturepedi <clears throat> as you know, is a common, common mattress that is always talked about. Just as uh, if somebody refer, refers to them wanting a soda, they say, I want a Coke. Also, if they refer to diapers, they say, I want Pampers, because these companies have a well-trusted name brand. <clears throat> Once again, I worked for Mattress Firm for over 10 years, and my Sealy sales were off the chart. The product sold itself. I was a great sleep expert, as you will. Sealy took pride in their product and also their innovations with the mattresses. Really advanced at the time frame, which was about 10 years ago. <clears throat> mattress Firm was the leading mattress industry and I was a very proud part to be a, a part of that wave. Once again, the features and benefits of Sealy sold itself. The coils, uh, the coil count and the strength of the coils for proper support the foam and case edges and the mattresses to uh, the foam and case edges around the mattress to prevent you from feeling like you're about to roll out of the bed. <clears throat> C 
Seely, Seely Pashupedic was founded in 1881 by Daniel Haynes in Seely, Texas, which is about three hours away from here, uh, here in Houston, Texas. Bain Capital and, team, and the team of Seely senior executives acquired the company in 1997. In 2004, the company was acquired by Cole Kravis Roberts and Company and the team of Seely Management. The deal valued at $1.5 billion, but included significant debt. The company operated as a privately held corporation until 2005. On June 30th of that year, in 2005, it announced an initial public offering of common stock. The company said proceeds from the IPO would go, paying, would go to paying down debt, funding the global operations, and also paying private equity firm Colbert, Kravis, Roberts to, to terminate their future obligations under their management services agreement. In September two, uh, 2012, Tempur-Pedic International announced an agreement to purchase Sealy for about $229 million. <clears throat> now a little bit of background about Tempur-Pedic, the company Tempur-Pedic, which is a, uh, which is a uh, foam and case mattress with no coil system in it to support you. It's just compromised of memory foam. Fagadala World Foams, a Swedish technical foam firm, introduced the first Tempur-Pedic mattress. The foundation of the Tempur was innovated by NASA for the purpose of safety and incident and cushion on aircraft seats. Tempur-Pedic was founded in 1992, once brought into the United States. The company went public in 2003. As Tempur-Pedic International, uh, uh, the company went public in 2003 as Tempur-Pedic International Inc. Tempur-Pedic won 2009 Electronic Retailing Association Award for Direct Marketing. So they became a, a well-known name brand, had strong brand awareness, had a great reputation, and also an image. <clears throat> Tempur Sealy International has become the world's largest bedding provider. The company is consumed of some of the most reputable mattress brands in the industry, such as Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Stearns and Foster. The company develops, manufactures, and markets mattresses, adjustable bases, pillows, and other sleep and relaxation products. Their core values are, we are passionate people, we think big, we think differently, we are focused on our customers' needs and our customers' success. We do the right thing, we care about each other, and we are profit-oriented. Temper uh, Sealy has been, been very prof profitable over the years. Their average, stock, their average stock price thus far in 2019 is $55.68 in 2018. Their average stock price was $50.79. In 2017, $54.67. 2016, $62.37. 2015, $66.61. And 2014, $54.16. And as you can see on my regression analysis, We have the monthly reports plotted, and also the, the linear line, which represents how the stock is rising. Once again, as you can see on the regression analysis. Now I'm going to talk about the liquidity ratios, the asset turnover ratios, the profitability ratios, and the market value ratios for Temper PV. I mean, for Temper C. From observing the table above with the liquidity ratios, which is what we'll start off highlighted in blue up top. <clears throat> From observing the table above, the liquidity ratios for Temper Sealy is in a good position above its competitors in the bedding market. 
current assets are enough in meeting obligations once due. Short-term obligations are fully <clears throat> covered due to the value being greater than one. Temper Sealy International is maximizing its current assets on the balance sheet to satisfy its current debt and other payables. Short-term liquidity is in a good position as well according to the quick ratios. Temper Sealy International's liquid assets allow them to, to meet short-term obligations. We must keep in mind that the quick ratio measures the dollar amount of the liquid assets that are available to the company against the dollar amount of its current liabilities. The cash ratio indicates if a company can pay its current liabilities using its cash and the cash equivalents at any given moment. Temper Sealy International cash ratios are less than one. The state, this states that there may be more liabilities than cash and cash equivalents. There is possibly inefficient cash on hand to pay off short-term debt. Network and capital is positive and appears that the company is not having any problems covering short-term liabilities. This is measured to evaluate the company's level of liquidity. And that's a synopsis of temper, temper CD's liquid, liquid, liquidity ratios. Now I'm going to discuss the asset turnover ratio. From observing the table above, asset turnover ratio is in a good position. The company managed inventory levels well. Assets are being used efficiently to generate sales as the calculations project. Inventory turnover measures how fast the company will sell its inventory. The longer the inventory is held, holding costs will be, the high, will be higher and the consumer market will show less interest. It is very productive for a company to have a high, turn, a high turn if companies control their merchandise efficiently. Inventory turnover ratios are challenged within the company due to the low numbers. This shows that the company overspends on buying too much inventory. It is costly to keep, spend, and store inventory daily. It is critical that inventory moves fast and, effect, and effectively to increase cash flow and minimize costs. Inventory appears to be moving fast according to the day sales inventory ratios. The day sales inventory ratios uh, are located right here for the past five years. <clears throat> Numbers are about the same each year with no major increase or decrease in the number of days. Year, in year 2017, it was very productive in that aspect. Receivables turnover is pertinent to Temper Sealy's success. Cash to pay bills and handle other obligations can be done the sooner the money is collected from customers. Day sales receivable ratios measures the amount of days taken to convert sales into cash. Throughout the years, Temper Sealy have remained constant, but there, but there was an increase in 2018 by about 20 days. Strategies that may be used to manage total asset turnover are managing inventory, increasing sales, and old asset liquidation. It is more favorable for the ratio to be higher and it is not in Temper Sealy's case. Lower ratios indicate that, they're, that they are not using assets efficiently and, and, are, and they are possibly experiencing production or management challenges. And now we're gonna talk about the profitability ratios. profitability ratios for temper ceiling. The profit margins are used by creditors and investors to determine the effectiveness of the company's sales and will be converted into net income. It measures how much profits are, are produced from the level of sales generated. Profit margin throughout the years of temper Sealy has remained positive and consistent. In the year 2016, there was a high percentage fluctuation from the previous year. Gross profit margin determines how profitable the product is. The table above provides a breakdown of the gross profit margin within the past five years. The percentages have become uh, consistent throughout the years with no big breakthrough. The po on the positive note is that the company has remained profitable. The importance of these percentages is that it will allow investors and creditors to create and project future trends of the company. Also, it will help in creating budgets and forecasting forthcoming activities. I feel that the gross profit margin has remained consistent throughout the years because the 
products have been priced accordingly to the market trends and <clears throat> have been structured to be very competitive amongst its competitors. <clears throat> Competition is possibly setting Temper Sealy back from its past successes. Operating profit margin indicates the view of how business, businesses are being supported from their operations. Stability is strong at Temper Sealy as well because the numbers because the numbers have shown that they are making enough money from their operations to support the business. With the percentages shown uh, in the profit profitability ratios, <clears throat> excuse me, with the percentages shown in the profitability ratios, there seems to be a drop where many factors may have come about to affect the performance of the company. It seems that temporary setbacks can arise due to the low percentages. Return on assets measure the efficiency and profitability that the company can manage their income producing assets. Return on assets appears to have increased after a significant breakdown in 2015. Managers can gauge what assets are managers can gauge what assets are being produced at the highest level of returns and normally focus on that sector of operations. <coughs> Return on equity is more from the investor's point of view not from the company. Temper CD has a low percentage of, for ROE. The percentages are positive, which is a plus, but a bit of a challenge within the past five years. ROE is an indication of the company's efficiency. The low percentages are indicating that Temper CD is not spending wisely and not uh, a large profit gain. Ways to improve ROE is by um, implementing are improving revenue performances, control costs, and also buyback shares. So that's a few uh, things about the ratios for Temper Sealy. And now I'm gonna do my comparison from Sleep Number. And I have its liquidity ratios, asset turnover ratio, and also profitability ratios. Overall, Temper Sealy has been a more profitable company. Um, there's been a little bit of hiccups here and there to where um, some parts of Sleep Number has had more successes, but as an overall company standpoint, Temper Sealy has been more profitable and has been um, the bigger winner throughout the years. The liquidity ratios for Sleep Number are very competitive with Temper Sealy over a five period, over a five year period, Temper Sealy International has an overall competitive advantage. Having the ability to convert assets into cash at a rapid pace and low cost is, is highly important. Sleep numbers liquidity ratios in comparison to Temper Sealy does not give them the competitive advantage. It is a key advantage to be able to determine the, debt, the debtor's ability to fully pay back debt obligations without increasing external capital. And then once again, as you can see, the liquidity ratios, uh, quick ratio, cash ratio, NWC, the total assets, interval measure, uh, all of these calculations uh, are, you know, uh, below the performance of Temper Sealy. Calculations for the past uh, five years for asset turnover ratios for a sleep number. Uh, there are similarities with the ratios in comparison to Temper Sealy. It indicates that there is a competitive market between the two companies and that they are truly pushing sales. Inventory appears to be typically moving at the same pace uh, between the two companies. Temper Sealy again has a competitive advantage according to the calculations of each ratio within the past five years. Receivable turnover really stands out at, receivable turnover really stands out as it is showing that sleep number is the more e is, uh, efficiently using its assets to the best of uh, possible advantage. The company is collecting funds in a timely manner and um, from its customers to continue maximizing on sales and moving, pro moving products. With the advantage sleep number has over temper Sealy of receivable turnover, it also shows a more favorable ratio uh, for days of sales receivable. Sleep number is collecting its trade receivables in a shorter time span than temper ceiling. This indicates that the account receivables are being managed well. 
Sales collection activity appears to be effective in which that can provide success for the company's uh, overall sector. Total asset turnover is more favorable with sleep number, indicating that they are utilizing assets to generate and drive sales. There is not a large gap in the difference of ratios between the two companies, but sleep number again has a competitive advantage in that particular se sector with asset turnover ratio. And then with profitability ratios, uh, which are the sum of the financial metrics calculated to determine a company's ability to drive and generate earnings uh, to its expenses. Analyzing the business pr productivity from comparing income to sales, equity, and assets are very frequent. Both sleep number and temper sealy have uh, profit pro uh, very similar profitable ratios. <clears throat> Gross profit margin for sleep number is better in a better position within the past five years time span than temper Sealy. A healthy gross profit margin is good for business expansion and also increasing sales. It's gross profit as a percent of total sales. <clears throat> and in year 2014, the sales appear to have uh, been at a good peak. There has uh, been a severe drop off after 2014 though. Return on assets are higher within sleep numbers profitability ratios, which is the, which the company can determine whether the money they are investing has a marketing impact, is making an impact. So once again, as an overall company, Temper Sealy has a competitive advantage, uh, but sleep number is not far, uh, far behind. Uh, this is the conclusion of my presentation, and I hope you all enjoyed.